Hi, it's Vicky here today and I'm happy to guest design for Simon's Eye Stamp. Today I'm going to work on my 6x6 disc bound journal. This is watercolor paper and it gives me the freedom to do more techniques than I would do on a regular art journal book. So for example, I can do embossing. This is a C6 embossing folder which I am going to run through my Big Shot. I do have this opportunity since I'm working on a 6x6 page, so this is going to run through the Big Shot with no problem. So I end up having a page with texture without using embossing paste or any other medium. Now for adding color to my page I will be working with my Distress Oxide sprays. You need to make sure that you shake them really well before you start applying your color on top of your page. The colors that I'm using here are Picked Raspberry and Fossilized Amber. If you move your hand as you apply the spray, you will get a nice distribution. If you keep your hand sturdy, you will get this circle. It doesn't really matter for me, but just uh, a note if you want to avoid the circles. Now, of course, you can build up your color as much as you like. And you can see here I'm using the nozzle to add some splashes with those two colors. And now I'm going to use my heat gun to make sure that everything is nice and dry. I just love these sprays for art journaling, they give that beautiful chalky finish when they dry and react with water and at the same time they make beautiful and interesting backgrounds, perfect for art journals. So here I added some water splashes, I left uh, the water to react for a few seconds and then blot everything with my cloth. To add more interest on my background and some visual texture, I'm going to do some stamping. For that I'm using two archival inks from uh, the new line by Tim Holtz. Again I'm using the same two colors, Picked Raspberry and Fossilized Dapper. I'm going to do some random stamping at the background by using uh, a text stamp. You can use any stamp for that. I believe the one that I'm using here is from the Etc. stamp set. And as always, you will find everything you need linked down below. Now, by stamping with the same colors as the background gives me a really sad look, but at the same time, there is something interesting going on there. I don't like my backgrounds to be super busy, since they will steer the thunder of my focal points. And now I'm going to do some stamping again, this time with black ink. I am going to end up having some black details all around my page, so I need to bring everything together somehow. Again, I don't overdo it, I just add a few touches of black here and there on my background. For my focal points, I'm going to use these paper dolls. These are a pack that I had for ages by Tim Holtz. And I'm going to do with them some paper piecing. However, I'm going to be really creative with them. So you can see that you get the same image in different sizes. And I'm planning to use all of them as if they were flowers. One of the flowers is going to have a little flower fairy coming out from inside. So I'm going to use my scissors, chop off the legs. Be brave, don't be afraid to make uh, cutouts work for you. And for the other two, I'm going to turn them into flowers. So here I'm cutting out the top of the girl as well as the legs, but I'm keeping the body of the girl because it looks as if it is the center of the flowers. So once I have my cutouts ready to go, I'm going to place them and uh, play around a little bit on top of my page just to try and decide how I want my composition to go. And now I'm going to create some stems. To get the same look as the background, I'm going to use again my Distress Oxide Sprays. I'm uh, using two colors here. These are Pilt Paint and Cracked Pistachio. So I'm just mixing the colors on a scrap piece of paper. Then I'm going to heat set it and I'm going to cut out some strips. Now I'm going to glue everything down. For that I'm using my Nouveau Deluxe glue. You can use any type of glue. Just make sure that you are not very messy because the ink on the background is going to react with any medium that you place on top. Now in the beginning as I was starting this page I thought that I would color those flowers but as I see the page at this stage I absolutely love how the white contrasts with the background so I decided to leave it as it is. I'm also going to use my scissors and cut off all the excess paper and now I'm going to add a little bit of color at the center of the flowers. For that I'm going to use my Distress Crayons. I'm going to add a touch of yellow at what is now the center of my flower and you can also blend it out with your fingers if you want to. And I'm also going to add a little bit of shading 
with my orange distress crayon and then I'm going to use again those two colors at uh, the heart of the little girl as if this is the center of the flower and she's popping from inside. At this stage I'm pretty much done with my page. I'm going to add some uh, black soot distress oxide ink with my blending tool around the edges. I always like to frame my art journal somehow. I think that it helps the colors at the center of my page pop even more. Also by touching my blending tool on the embossed areas it brings them more to the foreground. And as I'm adding more details here I'm using my black uh, thin marker to add some lines along the stems. I'm also going to add some splashes. This is a watered down gesso and it's not going to stay as white as it looks at the moment. The water in the, this watered down gesso is going to react with the color underneath. So it is going to look um, lighter than the background but not as bright white as it is now. And since I have all that gesso laying around I'm going to use my brush and add some highlights along the stems. Again this is going to uh, turn into light green as it reacts with the water underneath and it's going to create a lovely highlight. Now in my journals I always like to finish them off by adding some motivational quotes. I either stamp them or lately I've been using those quote chips by Tim Holtz. I have a pack for ages and I keep using these quotes again and again and they never finish. So I'm going uh, to add some uh, washi tape as well as a little bit of um, burlap here just to add some uh, extra texture on my page. I am using double sided tape here to secure everything down and I keep switching in between adhesives just because I have everything on my table but again you can use any type of adhesive that you like. And here is another idea, you can give her a string and create a little banner for her to hold. I'm not going to do that for this page, but just an idea. So that was the page for today, it's time to put it back to my 6x6 disc bound journal. Here are some close-up photos on the project that I made for today, where you can see all the details that I added on my background, like the embossing and the stamping and the splashes. Remember that you can find a full list of all the supplies used down below. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I hope you will all have a lovely day.